Well, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday are all great reasons to knock your holiday shopping out this weekend. So our wine and spirits expert and founder of Dallas Uncorked, Ms. Haley Hamilton Cogill is here to help you find the perfect gift for your wine-loving friends. Absolutely. This year. So excited. Veuve Clicquot always seems to do some something cool with that. Their, their marketing is so yeah. smart. And, you know, any, everybody loves a bubble. Giving a bubble is always appropriate, you know, and, and usually people who like bubbles like gifts. So this Am is I even better. Am I saying it right? Veuve Clicquot? Veuve, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so they came out with this precious little Clicquot mailbox um, that has a little note you can include. Um, the actual mailbox is um, will keep the bottle if you if you put a cold bottle in there will keep it chilled for I think up to two hours. Oh, that's cool. So it's just precious. Um, it's about fifty dollars for the whole little set, which a bottle is usually like thirty five or forty, and yeah. so it's it's usually um, it's a really cute little little gift. You can find that locally at Dallas Fine Wine and Spirits and at PKs, and so it was so exciting. You know what else I saw that I thought was so cute from Veuve Clicquot, and they have it at D of all places Dino's um, mm -hmm. shoe repair in Highland Park Village because they have the coolest gifts there and they've got this really great ice bucket that they, that that they created. That's a, yeah. a tin ice bucket in well, that and, color. And they, and they have fantastic. like they have a little carrier that's also a chiller mm -hmm. so they do just does great cute things. Stuff. Really cute for the holidays. Um, and it's great champagne. And so. it's always good bubbles because who doesn't like <laughs> right. a bubble for the right. holidays. Um, then in our glass because I did give us a little bit of wine but just brought a really um, special Malbec. This is kind of your hostess gift if you're thinking of taking something in for, um, for one of the holiday parties you're going to. I love a Malbec because I've been to Argentina, so it's something personal to me. Make that wine a little bit more personal. This one's from Alamos. And also, give them a little wine stopper. Don't just, you know, the worst thing at the end of the night is when you have all these bottles open after a party, and you can't actually stop because you've thrown all the corks away, or yeah. you can't get the cork back in. So a little rabbit wine stopper is adorable. They, um, You can find these at World Market. You can find them also at Metrocane.com. They're about $8. Really cute little Very cute. easy hostess gift. Yeah, and you can even, like, take those out separately and just just tie one, tie to one the bottle, onto yeah. a bottle exactly. And exactly. I love doing a bottle, some, a story that you can something tell Something that you actually yeah. has something because uh, everybody can go to a store and buy a bottle. Can we of go wine. ahead and taste this. Just Absolutely. While you're talking? Yes. Yeah. Um, then also uh, a really cool thing, you know, there are all these oh, kind of good. aerators that allow you to kind of open a bottle up a little bit more. This one is a vino air, and I really like it because unlike some of them, it actually goes directly into your bottle so that you alleviate some of the mess. Do these work better, better. than decanting? Um, I think it's a different process. This is a little bit faster. It's also a little bit cleaner. So you don't okay. have to get a decanter dirty. You yeah. can just actually use it um, straight in the bottle that you just opened. I think it's a really smart thing. I do. I love to decant a wine. I think opening up a wine is, is really smart. It's fun to see how wine changes over time. So however you're going to do it, I think it's a good one. But okay. that's a, a great product. It's about $28. That's fast and easy. I love it. Okay. For your, your hostess or your host that always forgets to chill their wine, which mm -hmm. is Often me. Yes. Um, so, or I chill mine in the freezer and then I forget about it. Well, in there and, yes, and, it and then explodes. it pops. Yes. Yes. Um, that's so awesome. that's actually a, a kind of a fun idea. This one's also from Rapa and Metro Cane. This is their wine chilling carafe. Um, basically, you put ice inside of the um, the kind of carafe uh, mm -hmm. the ice chamber, and then you fill up the your bottle of wine into the actual carafe. Put the ice chamber in there, and it will chill it. If it's a bottle that's already chilled, we'll keep it chilled for about ninety minutes. Oh, if it's great. a straight from your shelf into the um, carafe about it, it should take about 10 minutes to kind of chill it down. Did you say just fill it with ice? Just fill the chamber. And then pour the wine in the and wine when in. you pour it out it's automatically chilled? It's chilled. Yeah, give right. it a little bit to about 10 minutes. I think it took okay. me about 10 minutes to chill it down, but it really works. Or while you're filling the crap with ice, put it in the freezer and then take it out and just help the <laughs> process okay. along a little bit more. Um, and another great product from, from Metro Cane and Rabbit is the actual Rabbit Wine Over. And this is for, if you if you never know what to give your true wine lover, yeah. a beautiful wine opener is always appropriate. This this one is is just classic. It works like a charm. It's it's one of the best kind of tools that that any any person who loves wine, novice or, or yeah. connoisseur. Yeah, and I will use. say, once you figure out how to use it, you'll just be like, oh my gosh, that's the easiest, the easiest bottle thing. I've ever Absolutely. opened. All you do is you you clamp it around, you open it, pop Put it, it down. It's done. It's done. It takes okay, like three seconds. Quickly, because I've been talking and we're running out of okay. time. Um, Jordan brought their olive oil. If you have a wine lover who's also a food lover, Jordan's a great one um, with their olive oil. Chris Costa's first cookbook from Meadowood. It's a, a Napa cuisine. It's it's so a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cookbook. And then do have a few. Quickly, the t-shirts. Cute yeah. little thing on. It's a Texas wine as well as um, 
profits of meat as well as a Texas kind of state seat. It's a company called Templeweed Textiles. They're local. They're here in Frisco. They're teachers. They also are given a great um, discount to any broadcast viewers, 20% off if you oh. enter the broadcast. Really, really cute. Love it. Uh, lots of Texas kind of centric um, products as well, well as she is, um, Our producer's wrapping okay. me in my ear. Even though you're right in the middle of a sentence, yeah. I guess we need to wrap. So we can find all these things though on your website, website right? Absolutely. DallasUncorked.org. And we are back with more broadcast right after this. Technology.